Hey folks, welcome to BZB TV. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be going over BZB Gear's three most popular PTZ live streaming cameras. This is a part one of two series. Part two will cover a little more of the other equipment, including switchers and whatnot. But for now, we're going to go over our cameras and some of the requirements in order to choose the proper equipment as well as understand what's involved in the setup. So there are lots of great live streaming systems. However, it can be very confusing when it comes to selecting the proper equipment and understanding again, how much time is involved to set up all the cameras, to set up joystick controllers, whatnot. The less equipment you have, the easier it is. But I always recommend that you're gonna uh, wanna basically set aside all this equipment, start setting it up at least two weeks prior to doing your live stream. There is a lot involved. So uh, make sure you got your tech hat on and you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and take a look at our three cameras that we're gonna be showing off today. One of them is our BG4K ND 12X, which actually you're watching right now in this recording. As you can tell, the colors are very natural. Um, you know, everything looks realistic and sharp. Image quality is excellent. So um, besides that, we'll show off the other two at the end of this episode. We're gonna toggle between all three cameras. We have two other 1080Ps. Okay, so BZB gear cameras are always happy to rise to the occasion. So let's check them out. There we go. So as you can see here, we have three different essential uh, form factors. We have our BG DPTZ 10 HSU3. This is a 10X optical zoom camera with 1080p output. We also have our BG UPTZ 12X HSU. This is an amazing camera coming in black, white, and silver. And then we have the BG 4K NDI camera. This is our 12X version. We also have a 20X version coming out uh, very shortly here. So what's cool about all three of these cameras is the fact that they supply an array of connections, meaning our VPTZ will give you a USB 3.0, an SDI, an HDMI, and a LAN port. So all four of these outputs can be utilized for streaming. Of course, if you're using SDI and HDMI, you will need a capture device of some sort or a mixer in order to convert that into a usable USB signal for live streaming software programs. If you wanted to use the LAN port for direct streaming, if you have just one camera, um, you could do that. Or if you wanted to set up what's called RTSP, Real Streaming uh, Protocol, you could actually utilize that as well. Um, our BG UPTZ over here, as you can see, it's got our USB 3.0, it's got HDMI, it's got SDI, and the LAN port, but the LAN port is an NDI HX LAN port. Same as our 4K uh, version here. It's gonna give you the ability to stream over uh, the local area network. We'll go over that in a little while. Um, again, our BG 4K ND camera here has all the same connections except the SDI. So this does not have SDI. In order to get 4K through SDI uh, cabling, you would need a 12G SDI output, which is pretty, pretty clunky still, so it makes the camera quite a bit bigger. Um, however, in the near future, pay attention, and we do have a cool version coming out. So what is notably different on these cameras, um, besides the fact that the 4K doesn't have the SDI, but it has the USB 3.0 and the HDMI, is different lenses. These cameras all have different lenses. They have what's called web GUIs or web interfaces via a web browser. So essentially you need to network these cameras in order to access that to do a bunch of different changes on video settings. We have adjusted our cameras for this particular shot. It was relatively simple. We didn't get real detailed into it. We just did it basically to the point where an average customer would adjust it. The white balance, for instance, a little bit of saturation. Um, so as you can see, again, with the 4K camera, great image, looks awesome. Um, again, if I can move around, I had more space, I'd love to show you the zoom on it because it's really great in the autofocus as well. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we would like to show you uh, what all three of these cameras look like in this particular video recording. All right, welcome back here. So as you can see, we've changed scenes. We are currently set up in BZB Gear's demo room in the front. We, uh, set this area up for our dealers in order to show some training, give demonstrations to customers. Uh, these cameras are fixed on our wall. So let's check out our props and uh, take a look and let us know what you think.
folks, thanks for joining us here at BZB Gear. We really appreciate you taking a look at our video. Please let us know if you got any comments or questions regarding uh, how we exactly set this up. We're going to have a video coming soon showing our 4K, streaming in 4K, as well as uh, Steve, our lead tech, is going to do a little video showing you how we get these video settings. Always adjust your uh, cameras to match your scene. We took our time to ensure that the quality would uh, look really nice when you're dealing with LEDs like we are up above. There's some definite settings that need to be tailored. So uh, we'll have that video soon. If you got any questions for now, though, give us a call. Please hit uh, subscribe, like, always appreciated. Leave a comment, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. Thanks again, folks. Have a good one.